Welcome everyone, it's your boy LFJ, episode 30 of the last Remnant playthrough. And I know what you're thinking, what the hell are we doing starting an episode in the middle of a fight? Well, go watch the last episode then, idiot. Do your research, get clued up. We are in the middle of a very tough boss fight on a side quest, no less. And uh, yeah, we are hitting the allotted time of our episode. So we've had to quickly end that episode and start this one. But not to break the fourth wall, but this is all one gaming session. Life. Last episode of this one. We are in the middle of what I believe is our final side quest. No, if we finish this side quest, we get an item which lets us finish the last side quest. And then it's main story time, baby. You must fight it out here. That's not good. I'm not convinced we're actually going to win this fight. This guy's been a nightmare. It wouldn't have been possible at all. That's a strong one. Without oh, flashing help. Without um, our revival items. But the boss's health is finally flashing. We have a chance. I don't know how much health he's going to have left though. Even though it's flashing, it just means he's got one quarter of his health left. But, we've done so much damage. Like, he's still going to have a big chunk of health. All right, back you can action. do it! Let's go for... That one. Let's go for that one. Him. Right now, let's do this one because that throws in the bluff to lower the morale. Blacked out! Oh my god! How fortunate! He can't attack us for the rest of this round. And he's silenced as well. It gets better and better. Hurry and circle beside them. Incredible. Great Watch damage. This. Great damage. Oh my word. 17,000 damage from those three. He's got to be so close. He has to be so, so close. I'm not good at all. Everyone's alive. Everyone's got full health. I'm so proud. Could all go wrong. We're fine. Not oh my god, please. No! Ooh. It's gonna be close. Oh my god, can we just finish this guy already? Blacked out. I mean, it doesn't matter now. Like He's always done these attacks. Whoa, 8,700, let's go. Ooh, was an AoE attack. This could kill everyone. It kills two of us. Darian, thank God. We've still got some revivers out here. He must be so close to dying, it's crazy. 
We can't take any risks. We have to keep on reviving and healing when we can. What's this? It's these kind of situations where I do start to get hope for the main story boss. Like, is the boss really going to be harder than this guy? Come on. This is it. This is it. Finish it. Finish him. Oh. Damn. Finish him. Yes. Incredible work, everyone. I hope I've grown stronger than before. Now, one of our users is not going to get experience there, but that's okay. Yeah. So this is who I am. I feel stronger than before. Mystic Power. Excellent. Oh. This is just the beginning. We must use this the way Ooh. it was meant to be used. I feel like we have to keep it, right? We're gonna sell that guy rather than keep the crappy materials. Did it? Wait, what? What happened? The rainbow bond. Walk across the bar, it turns out there is a large monster in the area where Sibyl saw the Arcro... Oh my god. I went the wrong way. That was an optional side boss who was just in the area. I can't believe this. Oh, I've done a big boo-boo. It is there in the big northern dead end. I just didn't go far enough north to trigger a cutscene, I guess. I was convinced that was it. I mean, hey, we still did it, you know? Still proud of us. Sorry, no time for gossip now. So I saw this dead end before. Oh, I just didn't head far enough to see a cutscene. You who Pagus, you here? Don't tell me he's already taken out the monster. Ah, that would be astonishing piece indeed. Of course, as the former general of Silla Palaya's third division, defeating monsters like this would be an easy as taking candy from a baby. Perhaps baby isn't quite the correct term. There's the big boss, silly me. I heard the monster was supposed to be big, but this is just ridiculous. Right, like Sybil, fear not. I'm here to save you. Marcus. Oh, I guess you unit joined. Hey, come on. This guy can't be as difficult as that void intruder we just fought, right? Okay. That. 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 Some of that. Throw that in there. Let's do this. We shall stop them here. Prepare yourself. Oh, that's a strong one. Nothing. Nothing. Weak. That was a lot more damage. That was like 4,000 damage there. Maybe it's not completely easy. Come on, flank him!
Just a heads up, we are getting some stream issues right now. It will clear itself up, but don't worry, the recording is being done on a different software. The episode will still be fine. But apologies for my stream viewers right now. It's gone all, it's gone all horrible and grainy. Uh, let's do that. And then we're going to do some of that. Oh, I should probably heal, right? Yeah. Because they're not going to heal themselves. The gift. Ooh, one hit kill from the boss there. Don't not worry, even a, a large amount of damage, just a KO. Strong, everyone. Okay. Oh. All right then. Get on up. Lower Looks like we're, we're not used to. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do a heal if we do a big attack with it. Now we're doing a lot more damage than we were against the Void Boy. But this guy does seem to be a little bit scarier in the, in the damage field of popping itself. Is that my AP? I couldn't do my attacks. Let's get him next time. Big dodges. We're not doing a lot of damage anymore. Uh oh. Be careful. Ooh. Just when I thought that attack was fine, it ended up not being fine. This is the Deathly Fang, which is the one hit KO. I forgot what movie does, but it just it just says KO, it doesn't even show numbers. Oh, 1900 damage. To the rescue. Okay, we'll take it. Not the best heal, but I'm sure they appreciate it. There we go. That's better. 8,600 damage. Better. There we go. 10,000 damage. Um, I think we can get away with just doing as much damage as possible here. Paralyzed. Hopefully, it stops him from doing some of his attacks like that. Amazing. Whoops. Oh! Only 2,000 damage to the counter. Oh. 
take it. 7.5k. Here I go. Not bad. 14. We'll take it. Amazing. We're averaging over 10,000 damage each turn now. Oh, doesn't matter because he's done. Incredible. Then he's his health flashing. There's still plenty a of power left in these old bones. What a glorious day! One worm scale. Wow, wow, will I, wow, wow. Are you two all right? Goodness me, I didn't think you'd follow us. Darn tune we did. We're talking about the Arcoiris here. If all three of us can't see it together, what's the point? Sibal. But, seems like Maddox was right about it all. I guess I just imagined seeing it. I was so sudden that I saw the Arcoiris. But there's nothing here now, huh? Oh. No, certainly you met the remnant of miracles, Sibal. Maddox, Sibal, the time we three were engrossing the mystery of the Arcoiris is many years past. As time passed, we went our separate ways, doing different things and living different lives, perhaps never to meet again. And yet here we are, on an adventure with that. It really brings back memories, doesn't it? Ahem, my point here is, just the fact that we're all here together, all here together again. That is the miracle given to us by the Arco Iris? Okay, I guess you keep going around saying stuff like that, I'll get all misty eyed. Well, at the very least, we took that massive monster, eh? Come on, let's get back to Ryosha. You too, get over. I'll treat you to a dinner or something. I hope they're all recruitable. Oh, <gasps> the rainbow light. It was here all along. Well, I certainly hadn't felt that sort of fear or excitement in a long while. Truly, I must forget to teach the young folk that experience is just as important as book knowledge. How's about I put him to work here? I'll put all I got from good. Sabal, you do well to take care of yourself. We might not be there next time you're about to be eaten by monsters. Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. Say, kid, ah, oh, Rush, sorry for the trouble. I put you through a lot, eh? I know he's a meddlesome old coot, but take good care of Pagus for me, would you? Pagus, Rush, I'd better be getting back then. Pagus, let's do a better job of keeping in touch this time, huh? Ah, for a moment I was back as a young man, having a great adventure. If not a feeling, I'll soon forget. Rush, my boy, thank you so much. This is for you. <gasps> the Maverin Salia, we got it! So that's one of, that's the last of the nine crimson... Oh, look, he's just chilling. Of the nine crimson... Uh, shards that we need. Um, what do I want to do here? I want to go to a shop and sell and oh yeah, sell all this because 15,000, not bad. I mean, I'm sure I want to keep an average of 50 of each item. I'm sure there's still some more I could sell. Probably not a lot though, because I've done this semi recently. Oh, it's all 55. 20 gold, every little bit helps. Oh, 60. Oh, 55. I was hoping. I'm not hoping. I'm assuming. What am I trying to say? I don't know. I'm hoping that if there is a new unique recruit, hopefully Maddox or Sibol, then I'll have enough money selling this crap. I mean, I hope I'll have enough money anyway. A few of these items got like 52 or 53 of, but I'm ignoring those for now. Oh, well, I think I've got loads of the same weapon, no? Yeah, look at all these. Cool. 
Uh, we'll pop to the guild, see if anyone is recruitable. Check the guild tasks. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. Welcome, Maddox. Now, I will, I will come back here for sure. Well, I have to Let's go to Ryosha Castle. We've got all the parts for the last side quest. But let me go to Celepalai. If Sibol's going to be anywhere. He used to be a general of Sala Palais, right? So he'd be here. Let's check the pub out, why not? You never know. To be fair, I think I would have been annoyed if there was a side quest here. Because we're so close to continuing with the main story. And there are two guilds here. We have to check them both. Because one of them might have our boy Sibal. Look at all these people. How? Ooh. I don't know who the Marauder is in my party, but nice. I was seeing a thing the other day. Well, I think I was doing some research into uh, this. And a lot of people were talking about New Game Plus. Now, for a story game, I don't think I ever would have assumed there would be a New Game Plus. But if there is, and it sounds like there will be, would you guys be interested in seeing me play New Game Plus? Obviously, I'd just do it for stream. I wouldn't do it... I wouldn't continue the uh, the YouTube playthrough. Is there any new? Oh. Not bad. Now, hold on. Where did I... Is it Melfina? Melfina is where we first bumped into the guys, right? So maybe he would be in this guild? Maybe this is where he's living now? Well, this is where Maddox was, to be fair. Sibal's always been in Ryosha. So you'd think he would have been in Ryosha's guild. Maybe he's just not recruitable, but I just feel like... I just feel like the whole gang should be, you know? Have a quick look while we're here. Oh. Oh, it's a Cassiti weapon, I can't. Oh, I've still got two of these. Already got a javelin. Oh, can we create anything? A gram? A Yama sword? Pretty cool. But no thanks. Alright, well, fine. Um... Where am I going now? Where am I going now? Ryosha.
Available after the events of Kodigstorf, once having completed the Rainbow Bond. So he's recruitable, but I think at a certain part in the game. Which is not yet. Hold on, sorry. I'm seeing a certain character here, which I'm not going to say out loud. But I'm sure I had this guy on my team. Be another guild in Athlum. Missed a whole little side quest story out. Literally, I only saw it because I just googled Sibal and how to get him. And then I saw another recruit and I was like, wait a second, back in the day when I did my last run of this game, I'm sure I had him as a recruit. We need to make sure no stone is left unturned here. Bolson. Oh, let's talk. My sister is acting strange. I bring her presents like always, but she doesn't seem to care. I wonder. I reckon she still hasn't forgiven me. I told you how I used to be a bit of a hooligan, right? It's a bit more serious than that, because back then I did something really, truly bad. Every day I got running with my gang. My sister's just a baby, but I leave her all alone at home. And one day, the beastmen invaded. I ran home as quick as a wink, but it was too late. My sister was lying there, both her legs crushed. Oh my word. The only responsibility I had in the world was to take care of my sister. But when she really needed me, I failed her. I might as well have cut off her legs myself. After that, I swore to get on the straight and narrow. Started working as a mercenary to make a little money. Helped to, hope to buy things to make her life a little brighter. I just don't seem to be making any progress. I'm at a last rush, and I don't know what to do. Oh, wow. That's a bit of deep lore I was not expecting from Bolson. Have I already done the quest that the game's asking me to do? It's called the Fated One. I'm so confused. Talk to the old lady who knows Emmy in the pub. In Athlum. Does she not have a red bubble on her head? If so, that's really cheeky. Wait. Head to the town square. I mean, there's no sign of an old woman here. to the old lady who knows Emmy in the pub and then go to the town square to talk to Emmy hmm I don't know but there is supposed to be a second guild here yeah I mean, we'll have to leave it for now. Unless it's just a part of the game that I've never... You know what? My brain might have literally just stopped working here. And maybe it's more of a... Uh... I knew you could get this person as a recruit, but I've never actually recruited them myself, and I'm just assuming. I'm just skipping ahead. 
in my brain to be like, oh yeah, I must have had them back in the day. But I must not have had them. What's up, Priam? We got all the shards. Yep. The glimmer, would you show it to me? Undoubtedly, this is one of the crimson shards. I can sense the power throbbing within it. Tak Shend, the shield of flame. This shield was forged with prayers to protect its bearer from harm. Even the strongest of blows will be softened by this shield of wings. No, I don't want the shield. Oh, I get all of it. Vesper, the sword of flame. This blade is made from the talons of the one split by the contrary emotions of anger and sorrow. Its bite is as harsh as the pain of those feelings. Okay, I was a bit worried there. I thought I wasn't going to get any of them. I thought I had to choose like one of the three. Maninrel, the flame bangle. Fire is controlled only by fire itself. This bangle is made of a proud soul, pure as the flames of crimson light. You have collected the shield, sword and bangle now. Thank you very much. If you would listen, I would speak the truth of Royosh's past and how it came to be as it is. Of the living, only I am left who knows this story. Long ago, in what would eventually be called Royosha, there were twin birds. One was called Vespalia, the other Pivasalia? The twin birds were as old as the world itself, and the pair had fought for longer than memories existed. After an eternity, it seemed their conflict was to come to a conclusion. Vespalia was about to take Pivasalia's life. Through some stroke of luck, Pivasalia was saved by a young man passing by. Indebted to the youth, Pivasalia began to grant him wishes. He needed a weapon, so it gave up its talons. To shield the youth from fire, it gave its wings. The master of flames gave him its soul. By shaving away the life the man had saved, Pifasalia allowed him to destroy every obstacle in his path. Thus, the youth became the first ruler of the land and named it Royosia. By the time Pifasalia had given almost all of its all it was to the man, without the ability to even defend itself, it was confronted by, 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 by Vespalia. Just as Vespalia's victory seemed apparent, the man returned, bearing the sword of talents, the shield of wings, and the bangle of soul. Pifasalia finally had regained its strength. At that instant, Vespalia's fangs ripped the man in two. Seeing this, Pivastalia fell to bottomless sorrow, much only by its endless rage. His strength let the seal Vespalia within the flames. However, the seal was not complete. There was still not power enough to completely seal Vespalia away. Knowing that far in the future, the seal would break, Pivastalia looked at the man's corpse and swore to dedicate itself to this town. Thus, in preparation for what it knew it must come, it plucked its feathers, cut its talons, and transformed them to a small red stones. That finished, the bird spirit flew deep beneath the man's kingdom to stand vigil over where Vespalia was sealed. And there the story ends. By now, it seems no different from any other tale. Still, it pleases me that some could finally be told. Thank you. Once you are fully prepared, let me know. So I guess I have to wear this new stuff you're the only thing standing between Royosha and certain destruction are you prepared to face a facade Balia? um I've still got something to do oh I need to return to Royosha Congress sure. So, we're actually going to end this episode here. Basically, my stream cut out in the middle of this episode, so I'm just recording it right now. But I was using my stream as a sort of timer to see how long the episode was, and I don't have that anymore. So I'm a little bit scared of how close we are going to get to an hour. We might be nowhere near it, but we might be close. And I don't want to risk it, because I've kind of lost track of time. So gang, this has been episode 20... Oh, episode 30? This has been episode 30 of our last run and playthrough. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Until then, I've been your boy, Alec Jake. Ciao for now.